Just what we needed, snow. Snow, snow, snow. Bears love to come out in the snow. Not really. We made it to Spearfish, South Dakota from Northwest Arkansas yesterday. 15 hour drive. Today, we're headed through Wyoming and then on up into Montana. It's cold, it's snowing, but the bears, we feel like, will be moving later this week when the weather warms. We are about an hour away from the western part of Montana. We bought our tags at about 11 o'clock today so we can hunt 24 hours after. We drove through all this bad weather and now we're gonna get into hopefully some good weather in the next week. Should have these bears moving, Izzy and Smokey ready to rock and roll. I can just tell by the way they're pulling in the trailer. This is our first morning in western Montana. We're gonna ride back into an area actually where we glassed a bear from a, several miles away yesterday evening. It's Izzy's first day in Montana riding. When I trained her, that's what I envisioned. Just coming back into Montana with her, bear hunting. We've ridden 10.25 miles today and we just spotted a bear. It's five o'clock on May 1st. It's about a mile from us. We think we can get to it. It's actually a bear that we saw yesterday from the other side of the river and way away, way out of pocket. Anyway, we're gonna try to make a play on it right now. We were coming around the head of this hollow to get to this bear we're after. And there's a sow with two cubs. One of them is solid black, one of them is blonde, and the sow is red. Okay. That's not funny, but it was funny. We just we just got over on this side of the mountain. Came around this corner and I could see the bear. I was confident in my long range shooting, having practiced a ton, but in the moment I failed to calculate for wind drift. Day one in Montana has been a circus. We rode 18.87 miles and had to leave the truck on the other side of the mountain and actually rode off the mountain back to the place where we were staying last night. Missed a really good bear, long shot. So, I don't know, all we can do is keep hunting. It's a romantic idea to hunt Montana, but it's tough. This was my third hunt here, and I hadn't killed a bear yet. This much time invested without achieving the goal was tough. I only hoped things would change in the next few days. The next day and a half we spent in different areas without luck. I needed to be mobile. On the previous hunts, I blocked myself into areas and it was a mistake I wouldn't make again. On the evening of day three, we went back to where I missed the bear on the first day. Today marks the 15th day that I've hunted Montana over the course of three hunts. Six day hunt, five day hunt, and then now this is the fourth day of our hunt. And uh, lots of guys that hunt up here are like, wow, you sh should have killed a bear in the first three days. But man, yeah, I've struggled up here. 186 yards. Even though this was a great opportunity, I decided this wasn't a bear I was interested in. Shoot that bear. Colby was. Get down on it. 
the bear made it in the timber before Colby could get in position. We tried to predator call it back out, but it didn't work. We regrouped and went down the mountain about 500 yards when we saw an incredible sight, a gorgeous blonde color phase bear. He's just right, he's just right below the mules. But we can't take the mules. I think we're gonna have to drop off and come back and get him. I mean, he's within shooting distance of the mules, but we just can't see him. He's gorgeous. Now we gotta go, bro. I think the rangefinder said 50 yards. She was straight down from us. Well, Clay's not here. Um, he went to get the mules. That big boar came back out, and he did exactly what we didn't want him to do. Um, he went back the same way that he came from this morning. What a day of bear hunting. As soon as we miss that sow all the way across the canyon. It's big boy. We last saw him over there. Yeah. I'm relieved that the misses from yesterday or this week have been my fault. We don't have a problem with here. We do have a problem here. Look here, Colby. <laughs> How about that? It's the evening of day five and I'm flying solo tonight. We set up camp about a mile back. I've come up into this canyon where we've been seeing bears. The big bear we saw yesterday was right across the way from me here. It's six o'clock and I just spotted that bear. He's, he's a half mile away across the canyon, headed that way. He's actually headed a good direction for me to potentially be able to shoot across this canyon. He's turned and going up the mountain. I'm gonna try to head this canyon and get over there with him. It. It's risky. He's 169 yards. Sixteenth day hunting Montana. I heard him growl. He dove off the side at seven o'clock. I'm. It was a two-hour mule ride to get back around where I got this bear yesterday evening. But he's beautiful. Has this white crest on his chest. Just a nice Montana boar. Super sharp claws. I've never killed a bear this early. May the fifth and the claws aren't worn at all. The hide is thick. This is an incredible animal. Man, this is an amazing opportunity that we have to buy an over-the-counter tag and to come out here on public land and be able to hunt these bears. Incredible. Incredible adventure awaits whoever's willing to go and find it. This was a ton of work. I mean, an incredible amount of work. Bringing the mules up from Arkansas and finding places in between there for us to uh, corral them up at night to managing them at camp. We learned a ton. Yesterday afternoon, by the time I got back to camp, I had put on about seven and a half miles by foot to get to this bear. We were camped on the other side of the canyon and I had to come all the way around. And this is a bear that we've seen for several days and I'm pretty sure this is a bear that I missed on the first day of our hunt. We found a new way to get in here. The first day it took forever to get here, but man, what other place in the world can you come and do this 
have this kind of adventure. And man, black bears are amazing critters, the icon of North American wilderness. And we're right in the middle of it right here. Colby, you ain't fast, but you're tough, and you are officially the mule riding bear hunter. Yeah. Look at this. And the Montana mountain slider. Montana mountain slider. Flat tire. Flat tire, just outside of Denver. <laughs> 